This presentation is part of a lecture series on multi-resolution signal and geometry processing by Michael Adams at the University of Victoria in Victoria, Canada. For those of you who might be interested, a copy of the slides for this lecture series, as well as the corresponding textbook, can be downloaded from the website whose URL is given on this slide, in particular this URL here. Next, I'm going to talk about the surface subdivision methods in Seagull. The Seagull library provides several functions for performing subdivision of polygon meshes that are represented using the polyhedron 3 class. There's two types of subdivision functions that are provided. Those that are, are somewhat generic in nature in the sense that they implement some particular topologic refinement rule but allow you to plug in an arbitrary geometric refinement rule. These are what I refer to as generic subdivision functions. And then there are what I call specific subdivision functions. These are functions that use a specific topologic refinement rule in conjunction with a specific geometric refinement rule in order to implement some of the popular schemes like loop subdivision, catmull clark subdivision, and so on. And the functions for doing subdivision are contained in the namespace subdivision method 3. As mentioned on the previous slide, there are two categories of subdivision functions in Seagal, there are what I refer to as generic subdivision functions and then specific subdivision functions. The generic subdivision functions are functions that apply a specific topologic refinement rule but can handle any arbitrary geometric refinement rule. So the first of these functions is PQQ and this performs primal quadrilateral quadrisection as a topologic refinement rule and it allows for any arbitrary geometric refinement rule to be plugged into the algorithm. So any scheme that's based on primal quadrilateral quadrisection can be computed with the PQQ function. The next function is PTQ, which performs primal triangle quadrisection for the topologic refinement rule, and then allows any arbitrary geometric refinement rule to be plugged in. So in principle, this function can compute any subdivision scheme that's using primal triangle quadrisection for the topologic refinement rule. The next one is DQQ, which performs dual quadrilateral quadrisection for the topologic refinement rule, and then it allows for any arbitrary geometric refinement rule to be plugged in. And then lastly, we have the square root 3, SQRT3 function, and this performs topologic refinement, or root 3 topologic refinement, and allows an arbitrary geometric refinement rule to be plugged in. So this can compute any subdivision scheme that's based on root 3 topologic refinement. Then we have the specific subdivision functions. For example, a function catmull clark subdivision, which performs catmull clark subdivision, rather unsurprisingly. Loop subdivision, which of course performs loop subdivision. du sabin subdivision, which of course performs du sabin subdivision. And then square root 3 subdivision, which performs cobalt root 3 subdivision.